get started on part two here. The concrete has had plenty of time to set up. And so now I'm getting everything just kind of laid out here on this frame. I'm going to hang it and get the welder out and make this permanent. I have the breaker box mounted and the meter panel mounted and I'm going to attach a load center on here later but I don't have time to do that today so we're not going to do that. I'm just going to wire these two together so that I'm ahead of the game when they are here to install this. So it's pretty easy. For this installation I'm using 3 aught, which I believe is rated for 300 amps, 250 amps, something like that. This wire only comes in white, the way or the black, the only way the way you color code it is with electrical tape. So the way these work is the power comes in on the top and out on the bottom, so this one will go in the top just like it came out of the bottom of the other one. The power from the power company comes in the top here. These are the two hots, these are the outputs of the two hots, and then these are the neutrals. They'll tie the neutrals in the hot thing. There's a grounding spot in here too. I don't know that we need to tie a ground in. here normally you do like all three of these at the same time but I don't have that much extra wire I don't have very far to go so I'm doing one at a time just like that now we're gonna do the same thing for the two hots you always hook up the neutral first So there's that hot and I'm going to maintain this and keep this side on this side of this two pole and then the regular black will be on that side all right keep going I just have one more connection I need to tie into this box before I'm ready to call it quits for today, and that's that grounding rod connection we put in yesterday. So it's at number six. I'm going to tie into this neutral here, just pull it up from the bottom and connect it in. Got a little drilling to do. All right, I've got my grounding rod part tied in here, and I'm going to tape this off with a green tape here just so we know what it is. But the last thing I need to do in this box is I'm going to add another neutral. So I don't, I'm going to use this big neutral uh, to tie into the main service, which is going to go out through the bottom here. I'm adding a, a smaller 100 amp breaker panel next to this. So instead of trying to double up on this neutral, I am going to add another one because there's plenty of room. And Thankfully they make a little right angle version of this, it attaches right in there, and then I'll have another neutral. You do have to have a square bit in order to attach these. Just enough. 
This one's weird, it has a slot instead of a hex. Most of them have hex. Well, this stage is done. The next step is going to be to insta install that 100 amp breaker panel over here. I'm going to do that on a different day. So I'm going to call it quits for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, a thumbs up or a like would be appreciated if it helped you out. I would always appreciate that. Also, you can subscribe to our channel and see new content every Friday. Thanks for watching.